Are you embarrassed? Are you, are you embarrassed? Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Tracy Patrick. If you didn't know, get to know. And if you're not new here, you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, you know, today <laughs> in today's video, guys, we're going to be doing a reaction video. We're going to be reacting to people's Valentine's Day horror stories. Okay, and as, as I'm reading it out, I'll be leaving it on the screen so you guys will be seeing it. I'm reading it too at the same time with me. Okay, you get like you get. <laughs> yeah, and with that being said, don't forget to like this video, comment down below what you think. Like, let's talk in the comment section. Subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. Okay, we're hitting 10k this year. We're hitting 10k, this is 10k and above. So, subscribe. Okay, and with that being said, let us jump right into this. Like, I went on Instagram and I saw like um, Omo Wumi, Omo Wumi, Omo Wumi, you guys know Omo Wumi. She, um, she posted people's um, Valentine's Day horror stories. So, I'm going to be reading it. And we are going to be reacting. We, like, oh, we, we're going to be reacting, okay? And with that being said, let us jump right into the first one. The first one is by Lucy. She's 29. So it goes like this I got my boyfriend an expensive pair of Nike shoes, three luxury men's perfumes, a pack of Puma socks, cufflinks, a nice foam pouch, and three round neck tops as Valentine's gifts. Hot tears. Rapidly rolled out of my eyes when this guy shamelessly handed me a cheap looking gift bag with a customized teacup and biro. Okay? The most painful part was the most painful part was that he used a picture of me sleeping with my mouth open. <laughs> with my mouth widely open on that cup. <laughs> Wait, chill out. What? On that cup. Just to make fun of me. I'm not sure everything cost 3k. I knew I was dating a madman, but I didn't know this madness. I didn't know his madness reached that level. I don't do alpha female for the wrong guy. Ah, I'm in the Japan. Like what? <laughs> Wait, what? He used a picture of her sleeping with her mouth wide open on that cup to make fun of her. Some people are mad. Like some people are mad, to be honest. Okay, moving on to the second to the second person. Chego is 27. So it goes like this. I haven't been in a relationship since 2020. Hence, I resorted to patronizing. I'm talking too fast. Hence, I resorted to patronizing the hookup industry. I met a young and beautiful girl last year through hookup. So I asked her to be my date on Val. And she didn't even hesitate. I took her out to buy nice outfits because I'm the type, I'm the type that loves my babe looking her best. Wow. Okay. 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 We decided to see a movie, and then head to the restaurant before going to my place. As soon as we got to the mall, she told me she wanted to greet some friends. We entered the gadget shop, and she hugged all the guys there. Two of them spanked her ass right before my eyes. Hey, <laughs> what? What? Okay. I overlooked it and we went to see the movie. In the middle of it, I saw her exchanging numbers with a guy sitting beside us. She did the same thing with two other guys after the movie and I felt ashamed. Oh, I'm so sorry my dear. On our way home, she told me to take her to a pharmacy. We got there and she kissed me goodnight. Then she entered the hotel beside the pharmacy. Oh, my fear women. Who oh, were yes. oh, wait. What were you expecting? What were you expecting? A hookup girl. Who is what in the first place? Moving on. Sophie is 25. My boyfriend fought on my on Valentine's my boyfriend. My, oh, oh, you have extra wow. My boyfriend fought that on Valentine's Day. I had I had I had been dating my BF for three years before we fell out. He came to apologize but I was already in another relationship. While I still haven't decided on who to choose, I made sure that I both aware of each other. Without the knowledge, I planned my vows day with an old crush who just arrived in Nigeria. That is number three. Like the two boyfriends and a new crush. That's three people. Hmm. My boyfriend of three years called me that he was at my place. 
so i like that i went to meet an old female friend and told him to wait for me inside because i didn't want him to go with my gift <laughs> okay my neighbor called me to ask if everything was fine with me because he was hearing people fighting in my in my apartment apparently my new boyfriend came to came to surprise me and he met my first boyfriend and everything turned to yam pepper scatter they broke my doorknob, my center table, and my lamp. They left before I arrived. <laughs> they left before I arrived without dropping my vows gift. I saw a bloody tooth under my chair, and I'm sure it belongs to my old BF because I know his tooth length. <laughs> I'm, yet, I'm yet to know what caused the fight. Like, what the heck? How do you know a man's tooth length? <laughs> oh my god. Some people say she girl. Some people, some people say she girl. What? Hmm. Okay. Kali, twenty-eight. Okay. I spent a whopping twenty k on my babe's vow gift, fifteen k for the gift box, and five k just to deliver, just to deliver from Ibadan to Ikotun. I had paid the vendor to curate the gift for me two days before that. I didn't even bother to ask what mode of delivery will be used because I was sure it had to be doorstep delivery. Since I paid that amount. On vows, the first call I expected was, was from my babe, only for me to hear a very deep, loud, and harsh voice threatening to leave my package in Ibadan if, if my babe didn't pick her calls. I was confused at first because this can't be someone from a courier company. After verifying my order, I called the vendor, but I never was pissed off. The fuck? On vows day, the fuck? I told my babe to keep her phone by her side for her package. She called me at 6 p.m. that she hasn't got to meeting, and I quickly called the driver. He said he didn't have call card and blamed my babe for not waiting for him at the park. He added that he was on his way to Ibadan, that I should come get my gift, my, that I should come get my stuff if I still need it. We finally met at Tolgate at, at 10 p.m. The package was rumpled and stained with engine oil. Hmm. What? I collected this. Give him a heavy punch on his neck and fled. <laughs> People are mad. People are mad. God. What? <laughs> okay then. Franca. She says one. Before this whole Naira scarcity if, you, if you're not Nigerian, eh? In Nigeria right now, we have like this very big problem. There's, there's money scarcity. Like, we can't even buy anything. Like, everybody's just hungry like this. If you go to the bank, no money. And and okay, okay, like I heard I heard the other day. Somebody went to the bank to ask for money. And they told him that he was that they were giving him only two K at at two thousand naira. So he said okay, okay, that he will collect. Then then the next is, they gave him twenty twenty naira. Twenty twenty naira oh, Jesus. Nigeria is a mess, Nigeria is a mess. Okay, moving on. Before the whole Naira cast for lava, my my boyfriend had sent a vendor. 500k to do money tower for me. Seeing everything going on in Nigeria, he reached out to her for a refund and told her to only do other packages. She told my boyfriend not to worry as she has a very good plug inside the bank. On Val's day, the vendor arrived and I sighted the money tower. I was baffled because it wasn't exposed like it used to be. It was covered with a gift a gift wrap paper. She hurriedly dropped all the packages as she was coming busy. After she left, I removed the wrap and I couldn't help it but scream. <laughs> this lady made my huh? This lady made my money tower with five naira and ten naira notes. I was devastated. one after the other and my blood stopped flowing when I saw dirty old notes underneath not even 1000 naira but 200 naira notes these were just too much that I couldn't even bring myself to count (laughs) 
I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry. Okay. They were just so much that I couldn't even bring myself to count them. My boyfriend and I have been calling her since then. But she didn't pick our calls. We are one carry and go. Oh my god, you look great. People are mad. This Nigeria. This country is a mess. Ah! This year's Val's Day for me is what I would refer to as bad day double drink water. I had been dating my I had been dating my married boyfriend for two years and I was well aware of his other side chicks. On the other hand, I was rest assured that I am the favorite. Would anyone even deny that after he just spent his vow with me and I not even his wife? Okay? We were eating at an out <laughs> We were eating at an outdoor restaurant when my boyfriend picked race. Everyone else did the same, even though they didn't know why. I was still struggling with my shoes when someone pulled me by my brain and threw my face on the ground. Hmm. Blows and sticks were hitting me back to back. <laughs> I finally stood up with a mouthful of sand, bloody eyes, tattered clothes, uprooted hair. I could literally count my braids on the floor. Wow, oh, wow. The hurtful part was the hurtful, uh, the hurtful part of the whole story was that the person that did all this to me wasn't his legal wife. She was just an anti chick who mistakenly got pregnant and they now did small intro and tried. She was not the wife. If you, if you did intro and tried, she's not she's not the second wife now. You get so okay. I wonder if she would have uh, I wonder if she, if she would uh, English. I wonder if she would have the opportunity to get pregnant if the main wife was like that. Anyways, our next vow together will be muddy. He promised. He, so so like he promised you that the next vow will be muddy. Is it, the next person is Grace since five. I asked my boyfriend what my vow gift would be, and he told me it's this. Uh, I asked my boyfriend what my vow gift would be and he told me it's a surprise because I won't find out until I come to his place. I got to his place and asked to see my gift and he brought out his penis. I was furious. <laughs> I was furious. He said I've always complained of not coming during sex and he has decided to find a solution for it. He brought out a hair drink, a vibrator, a vagina soccer. And three packs of condoms. All this week was for only me? <laughs> to cut the long story short, we fuck, fuck, fuck from morning to evening, but I still no great come. <clears throat> Except that he was coming every two minutes until he begged me that we would we should stop. I then asked him for a vow gift and he said we will try again next year. And I fuck with my own vow gift. In relationship of six years, I've really suffered. Hey. Hey, you take a boy. Okay, another person. You bola party. My babe got a my babe got me a food platter. Seeing the picture of all the orish orish that was inside, I didn't plan to cook or order any food throughout that day. Besides, the vendor had sent it to my location since 8 a.m. and I expected the rider to, and I expected the rider to deliver it by 10 a, by 10 a.m. at most. After calling him several, he finally called around 12 p.m. that he was close by. At 1 p.m., he called again and begged me not to be angry that his bike had a fault, but he has already fixed it and is looking at my street right now. I slept up while waiting for him on the couch. I woke up around 2. I called him angrily. He didn't pick up until he called back at 4 p.m. just to tell me to forget about the vulgar, about the food. He said he has eaten it and I should consider it as his vulgar from me. Eh, 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 eh? Um, my head, I use anti kitchen go first. Gary, you shan't be well with him. <laughs> you said you shan't be well with him. Oh my god, that is just seven. Due to some unforeseen circumstances, I couldn't get my girlfriend a vow gift. I visited her just to spend the day with her, but I wish I had sat, sat, eh? but I wish I had sat my ass down in my house. You need to see how the different people were, eh? were calling my babe for different packages here and there. A guy got my babe and I for passing Pro Max. And then I got a little clothes and bags. And then I got her underwear and luxury and luxury wigs. 
I nearly entered the ground as she was opening them. The only person I paid for was the one that bought her a food platter, cake, and a big mix of cake. <clears throat> are you embarrassed? Are you, are you embarrassed? After I finished eating the plate of rice with plenty of plantain, two burgers, and three big talking, I moved to the fruit basket. I ate two bunches of banana, one watermelon, two big pineapples, and had seven oranges. I topped it all with the cake. I intended to ask my babes to tell me who they are, who they are all, who they all are that night, but I didn't get myself pregnant because I was I was, I was just fudging. You just ask, you're just fudging. Fudging will kill death. If your paper is stupid, your paper is mad. On there, mumu, fudge there and die, stupid. So you guys, that is all the confessions I have. And if you have, if you have your own confessions, drop in the comment section. Let's talk, let's talk, you know, let's, let's talk, okay? So you guys, that is all the all the stories I have for now. So if you have more, drop them down below. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys in my next lift video. See ya! Catch ya later! <laughs>